The Royal Ghost is the strongest troop in the game right now, and you can use it for basically anything you want to do. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show, and today we have an attack strategy that involves the Royal Ghost from Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 15. There will be chapters lining the video. That way you can skip ahead to your respective Town Hall levels. But we're going to start out with Town Hall 15, and basically it's very simple concept. You're going to use the Royal Ghost to target the the town hall in most cases or high-end defenses in this attack we're going to see royal ghost starting out with the clearance of outside buildings and you're normally going to find ground set skeleton traps in the process that's what the archers are for the archers will be dropped on the outside of the base for the skeletons to chase after that now you're going to see that he's going very patiently there is not a lot of spam going on here he's dropping one royal ghost finding skeleton traps pulling them away with the archers and dropping the haste spell. The haste spell is going to launch the very slow moving royal ghost up into the town hall. They're going to take it out, pull the clan castle troops, and then he's going to come from the other side of the base with the giant barbarian king log launcher archer queen grand warden the log launcher is lined up with the major end defenses like the inferno towers and the eagle artillery and the royal ghosts are used on the outside to make sure that the heroes go inside the grand warden's ability will be used to protect everything and then the yetis from the log launcher are going to come in under rage royal champion is going to sneak in assist with taking down one of the scatter shots royal ghosts will be used to take out the monolith and the third inferno tower bat spell freeze spell to clear the rest of the base just use the freeze to clear your wizard towers and that is pretty much the army they're using this for basically everything clan war legend league pushing farming whatever you choose you ever wonder how we edit the videos with today's video sponsor wondershare filmora 11 and now you know filmora is an easy to use video editing software with powerful functions and everyone can start with filmora easily and quickly even with zero editing skills. My favorite Wondershare Filmora features include the speech to text function, which allows you to transcript voice into subtitles in one click. The speed ramping with six presets, which can help you create a professional speed change effect easily. And lastly, the screen recorder, which allows you to record screen and webcam simultaneously and also capture the system and microphone audio. And now, you can edit anywhere with Filmora Go, an easy to use video editing app with advanced features and tons of ways to be creative. And with Filmora Go's timeline editing, it becomes not only simple, but also enjoyable for all skill levels. So what are you waiting for? Do you want to make some epic Clash videos? Download and try Filmora for Windows or Mac and Filmora Go for Android or iOS by clicking the link down in the description below and thank you for sponsoring today's video since town hall 13 and 14 both have 300 housing space this army will apply to you the only real differences there would be the troop levels the hero levels the addition of the pets and possibly some of the siege machines that you have access to now we did purposely take down a center place town hall village that way you can see that you can three star with it we're going to use the royal ghost a little differently this time around the targets here would be the wizard towers we want to take out the eagle artillery since we're working with the bat spells you know because the eagle and the wizard towers will take them out very easily we're going to find some giant bombs in the process unlocking some of those skeleton traps and we're going to try to get the barbarian king down and then move into the eagle artillery next so we did choose to bring a different siege machine with the flame flinger now i would recommend going to the log launcher instead because as you find those skeleton traps the skeletons will in fact destroy your flame flinger you're not going to get the most value out of it now we bring a super wall breaker an ice golem barbarian king archer queen and grand warden we spam the rest of our royal ghost in to target the center of this base we're going to use that warden's ability get the royal ghost in on the town hall's placement with the barbarian king royal champion from the flank to take on the single target inferno tower and we're going to flank in our bats from the other side to take on the expos the air defense the cannon and the freeze spell will would be used on the scatter shot unfortunately i was a little slow there but we were still able to pull it off but you can take down center place town hall villages with this army we're going to speed it up that way you can see the army right 
there. At Town Hall 12, you can bring 31 of the Royal Ghosts. We do bring poison spells in these armies for the event that there might be clan castle troops, but this replay is very important to see because there are a lot of distractions in the way as you're trying to clear the Town Hall itself. So Royal Ghosts are going to be used to pick off buildings. There are 12 seconds on their visibility, so we try to get as much out of them as possible. Now, as this attack progresses, you're going to notice that we're going to drop Royal Ghosts. They're going to go after one building after another building that is not the intended target which in this case would be the town hall we're going to drop the haste spell they're going to take out the expo and then the next two are going to go after archer tower and the air defense gets a little annoying but eventually we do get on target with the three royal ghosts to take down the town hall on the opposite side we're going to drop ice golem super wall breaker barbarian king uh log launcher archer queen and grand warden you can replace the super wall breaker with regular wall breaker you're just going to have to bring more of those and we're going to use that warden's ability to try to protect our troops we're going to bring the royal ghost in from the top to take on the hidden tesla farm and then we're going to flank in with our bats to go into the single target the expo and the wizard tower we're going to use those freeze spells to slow it down just like you would do in an icy five attack or a peckable bat and within seconds we're going to go ahead and take down this base we didn't even need all of our spells the royal ghost and the bats will easily overpower this makeshift Town Hall 13 base, but there's your army right there. Now at Town Hall 11, you should be able to completely destroy your opponent with this army. We got 29 of the Royal Ghosts and the Log Launcher with the Yetis, but the targets on this base are going to change. We're not going after the Town Hall. We're not going after the Eagle Artillery. We're going to use the Royal Ghost to pick off buildings and move in on these three Wizard Towers at the bottom of this village. So we got them clearing a couple of resources source buildings are going to go up into the Grand Warden's Altar. Looks like we got one Wizard Tower down. The other one on the other side will fall. That will leave the one at the bottom. Now we're going to shift our attention to the top of the base because we want to use that Log Launcher to do damage to the Eagle Artillery, which is placed in the center of the village. Royal goes to Funnel. Ice Golem, Barbarian King, Archer Queen, Grand Warden with the Log Launcher. The Warden's ability will be used. The Log will do damage to the Eagle, the Clan Castle, the Town Hall. And then we're going to flank our bats in from the left using the freeze spells on the multi-target Inferno Tower and any other remaining splash damage defenses, which in this case, there are none. We don't even need all of our freeze spells. So you'll see that we're easily able to clear this base with a ton of bats. The Archer Queen still alive, Grand Warden, still even maintaining the ice golem so there's your army right there and then at town hall 10 i brought 30 of the royal ghosts but i would recommend that you probably drop one of those and add some archers or some wall breakers or something just to kind of assist the army although i don't really think it's necessary we're gonna go ahead and drop royal ghosts to target all or most of the wizard tower starting on the left side we're gonna drop some on the right side as well and we just got to be patient here that's really what it boils down to is just patience with the troop they're gonna go in and take out the wizard tower on the right. They're going to take out the wizard tower on the left. We're going to come in from the top as well, funneling in more buildings. We still got a ton of royal ghosts left over. They're going to come up from the bottom and the top to take out both of those wizard towers, which is basically bad heaven. The Barbarian King, Log Launcher. We're going to drop the Archer Queen in there somewhere. I don't even know if she's on the base at this point. No, it doesn't. There, there she goes. She's finally going to join us. We're going to bring bats in from the left and we're going to freeze the multi-targets actually we use the queen in this case to take out the multi-targets all right that's that's ridiculous <laughs> we didn't even need the free spells but that's the army right there with all that swag